not only is cilantro delicious, it's affordable and easy to grow in a window box herb garden. I know cilantro reduces the risk of digestive distress, but it tastes like soap. And honestly, I'd rather have the gas. Ugh. I can't believe some people prefer open casket funerals. Disgusting. Ah, good luck collecting your debts after I'm dead, losers. I need to stop using cilantro in my cooking. Has science conclusively proven it's not poisonous? Hmm. That's not the ch I should really use soap when cleaning my produce. Especially the cilantro. It's the only way to kill germs. I just have an idea for a new omelet recipe. I wonder if we could cut some money by cutting cilantro from Taco Tuesday budget. It's risky to cook with cilantro because many people just don't like it. Some people hate cilantro, but everybody hates socks with sandals. Some people like it, some people don't. I honestly just don't know what to do about the cilantro conundrum. If the Psychonauts don't get some more funding soon, I'm... Well, I'm going to die. That's all there is to it. I just got the strangest urge. <laughs> to go outside and kill some ants. Must be from hanging out with these kids. We really need to deal with the mushroom growth around the quarry. It's just not safe. I'd rather die than wear socks with sandals. I need to relax. All this stress is going to shorten my life expectancy. I should have a really disgusting challenge to enter a test. Just to see the looks on the children's faces. I never say this out loud, but the truth is, I really, really, really just love money. Mushrooms really do add a savory heft to any dish. Sure, it's fun to take risks, but what use is it? Who am I kidding? If I wasn't worried about something, I wouldn't be me. It just means I care. You know, whenever I see socks with sandals, it reminds me of my favorite German college professor. There was a way to connect money and risk. I'm sure that would solve our problems, and nothing bad would happen. Stop thinking about money so much. It is the root of all evil, after all. I wonder if it's possible to take a bath in hand sanitizer. How can people eat a slimy fungus grown in manure? Ugh. Why do people think I want to see their socks? Out in public? Hollis, you need to just de-stress. You don't want to be one of those gross type A personalities. Ugh. People who take unnecessary risks are so irresponsible it just makes me sick. I always wash my hands after handling cash. You don't know where those bills have been. Oh. Germs might not be deadly 100% of the time, but why risk it? When was the last time I washed my hands? Maybe I should wash them again. I need to relax. All this stress is going to shorten my life expectancy. If there was a way to connect money and risk, I'm sure that would solve our problems, and nothing bad would happen.
socks with sandals is just rich people trying to show off how they can afford fancy socks. Oh my. I just remembered how dire the Psychonauts' finances are. Wearing socks with sandals leads to toenail fungus. Everybody knows that. I know I had the basement foundation inspected, but I still worry we've got something funky growing under the water line. Don't people who wear socks with sandals worry about rattlesnake bites? I definitely could not handle that stressful casino mission right now. What if my husband starts wearing socks with sandals? Could I still love him? Hollis wants to solve her money problems. She's gonna need to accept some risk. I think I just figured out how to solve all our money problems! to say this, but money really does solve a lot of problems. <laughs> then again, how do we know we can change things unless we try? Then again, life is more of a relay race than a wind sprint. Sometimes, you need to know when it's time to pass the baton. Maybe you should quit while you're ahead. Who says I'm ahead? I've sunk so much money into this machine and can't just leave it all behind. Actually, I think it's important to know when to quit, especially when playing grew Loki with your grandma. Oh, sounds like you've got a method. The secret is you have to listen to the colors. Let the rainbow of lights lead you to the pot of gold. Uh, that doesn't sound like a smart way to make decisions to me. Any luck? Uh, luck's got nothing to do with it, son. <laughs> I win with my brains. <laughs> I got math on my side. <laughs> a formula for <laughs> victory. Wouldn't the wisest choice be, you know, not gambling? There are some misguided ideas floating around this room. I wish I could help them make smarter decisions. Ooh, all these garish colors make me want to die. <sighs> Need to cut out the frills in the cafeteria for sure. Tan is the best color. Hands down. I feel like I just went colorblind. Whoever painted this room is a genius. When I win this game, I hope there are fireworks. I hate making decisions. I'd rather die. This place is a death sentence. I should have finished my degree. I could have been saving lives instead of pinching pennies. Ha! Ah, good luck collecting your debts after I'm dead, losers. Oh, call me old-fashioned, but I think moderation is the path to victory. At least when I die, I'll know all the answers. Making mental connections in someone's mind is a profound and dangerous thing. to lose. I guess it's not really bad to quit if it's the right thing to do at the moment. Moderation. Isn't that a 
novel concept. Moderation. Now that's the real path to victory. I could cut my own paycheck for a while. Ah, a little judgment. There's some progress. I wish they knew that sometimes walking away is the best choice. Maybe the only way to win is not to play. Wait, no, that's stupid. If that were true, there wouldn't be any casinos. Maybe I should just give up. Smart people don't try. Sometimes the path to enlightenment is not straight and simple. You know what? I think the only way to win is to know when to play I just and when to, to stop. Moderation and... You know, I think holding down all these feelings is giving me a bit of indigestion.